hello everybody so welcome to my channel so i told you guys i was gonna film a video uh, kind of like a video vlog showing you guys my meal room but um that didn't happen because a lot of things happened really quickly so i was not able to do like a meal room video tour but it's gonna happen once i have everything set up in florida so this room right here this is the door right here and it's one of the biggest room in the house this house has four bedrooms so one of the biggest one was the one i was using for my nail studio uh, recording my nail tutorials so i'm gonna go through the furniture that i was using so you guys have an idea so it's messy because of course we're moving i have everything really packed and ready to go um here you guys can see i have a box with camera equipment that i will be taking um i do have some uh a nice crystal glass here that i will be carrying myself in my car because i don't want it to get um you know to be broken or whatever because it's kind of cute you know kind of pretty and inside i have the rings for my nail tutorials that i use you know now and then here i have um this is for the phone when i want to do like an unboxing and i don't want to use my camera i just connect the phone here and this extend pretty large and this is from amazon i got it from the amazon bean store for like a dollar and i like it um here i do have all the things that i use uh they are here because i don't want to put them in the box because um you know just to prevent them from breaking since they are light so let's talk about this light so the key the important point when you create a video on youtube is light right and as you guys may know because i already shared this with you guys it took a while for me to find out the perfect lighting for the video so it don't look yellow it don't look um like a cold tone and it's a lot to go into light so if you guys want me to do a video about that i can definitely do that but now today right now <laughs> i can share with you that this is the light that i use for my youtube videos this is the light that will give you that beautiful clear video and these lights i bought them on amazon and let me show you the number so this is the number that i use and it has to be 5500k because that's the one that will give you that crisp that not crispy nice uh clear look on your videos and this is the set and it and also you can buy this attachment which this attachment will connect to one of these uh tripods and you will put it however you want it in my case i put it um looking down on my desk when i'm recording so it can light up the whole area so make sure if you guys want a good lighting system with one, you're fine. Um, they come in a pack of one. They also come in a pack of two. I do have two because in case that I want to set up another area, I have it ready to go. So this is 85 watts, 110V, 5500K. So they are from the brand, I think it's Egg, and you can get them on Amazon. This is the light that you need to record beautiful videos on YouTube. Also, I will suggest a ring light on top of you. Uh, looking down because you're recording what you're doing in your hands so that's what i do when i set up my my studio again on in florida i'm gonna sh i'm gonna do a blog and show you guys exactly how i put my light so you guys can have an idea how i came up with this idea was because i did a research on how people um that do like drawings and stuff and they record it for youtube how they do that you know so they can look clear they can look beautiful people can see what they're drawing and stuff like that so that's how i came with this concept of how i'm going to record videos for youtube so they can look clear and people can see what i'm doing on my hands in my hands right um here i do have all the things that i would take in my vehicle because i don't want them to be in boxes um we have the kiara sky led light and my Jollish um, flash cutting light. I have them here because I don't want them to be in the truck where everything will be, like the boxes and stuff like that, because they can break, even though they will pay me for it, but I don't, just don't wanna go through that. I just don't wanna go through that. And as you guys can see, as we walk to this side, everything in here 
it's a pretty large room everything in here is from ikea so let me move this out of the way and i will go details with the furniture okay so one of my favorite uh desk system for ikea is the alex drawers uh desk in the drawer so this right here is the desk and then you have to buy this part here so it can hold the table on top this is amazing for your office computer work to put your computer also good for doing your makeup and the reason why is because the top part it's so wide out see how um, wide and long it is that here i had my mirror from vanity expression i think it is i'll show you in a minute and if it's perfect and also allow me space to put more stuff in here so i will be using this to record my nail tutorials from now on because i'm going to switch things around and i'm going to show you guys on the blog of course and i like this because these drawers here they are deep enough and it has the bigger one and the other ones that are not um that deep into it so i like that and also <clears throat> i got this system here this system here it is not from ikea this system here is from amazon so amazon has a bunch of uh furniture imitating um ikea right like this here and I'm gonna show you in a minute what I mean with, by that. So this one is from Amazon. The only thing I don't like about this one, it, it looks exactly like the Ikea one, but different is this. You see that they don't open all the way out. They only open halfway and it goes all the way to the back. So you know, that this here, you won't see it because it don't open all the way out. So that's the only thing I don't like. This set right here of furniture, it is also from Amazon. And what I do here, I'll show you in a video that I have my monomer goes in here. Here, I used to have the monomers. And here I have other nail stuff like crystals, um, stamping tools and all that stuff was in here. And I really like it is it looks very elegant and all my furniture is white uh, for the nail studio. So I like that. So let me move to the other one so you guys can compare. So this one, it is from uh, Ikea. It's called the Alex Drawers. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. And this is amazing. They open all the way. And there's so much space here. You can put a lot of stuff. And then you have the deeper ones at the bottom. And the thing with IKEA furniture is that you have to put it together yourself. They don't come with letters. So you have to figure out how they go. Look at the book. So it may take a little bit to get used to um, IKEA furniture, may I say. So this is the mirror right here. And it's from Van uh, Impressions. And this is the mirror that I put in this desk right there. And I like it because it's wide enough. It has this here. And also you can put, like if I move on the back, it has the plugs here. So you can plug your, air, your hair dryer and all of that good stuff. Another piece of furniture that I have from Ikea. Let me move this out of the way. Is this one this one is another of the alex uh dryer collection and i love this one because it has wheels at the end as you guys can see it has wheels this one don't have wheels i think they should come with let me tell you but this one i like this one these are very wide as you can see i love this furniture for um the nail studio they are very wide and that's where I had my acrylics. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check my organization video where I talk about how I organize my nail stuff. So it's there. So I have two of these. Here's the other one. And let me move this out of the way. Okay, so this is how it looks. 
Oh, it's in, the, it's in the other side. Okay, so this is the other one. Same, uh, same concept. I love those things. And I think in the new house, I'm gonna put one on top of the other one to have more um, space, I will say. And the last thing I got was this card here. And I really like it because it's really steady, really strong. This is like a crafty card for you to do in storage crafting stuff. Like if you do a lot of crafting stuff, DIY, whatever you do, this is amazing. And this is the brand. And I got this from H&N. And they have different colors, different sizes. So, but this is the one that I like the most. And on my organization video, I did have the stickers at the bottom, no stickers, backgrounds for videos and stuff like that. I'm thinking I'm going to organize everything differently for the new house. So that will be in a blog. So don't forget to subscribe if you guys want to see how I will add all that stuff, how I'm going to organize the nail studio. Because I'm struggling, to be honest, because... The new house, the bedroom is way smaller than this. So it's gonna be a challenge, let's just say. And here is a little fridge, we're still connected. Why do I have a fridge? Very simple, nail glue is inside. When you have nail glue, they will dry fast. If you want to prevent the nail glue from drying, put it in your fridge. Also, you can put beauty products in there like face moisturizer and stuff like that. Um, it will be perfect. So this was the nail room, guys. Um, it has those mark like this because it freshly has paint and I covered the holes and everything to be ready to return the house. But this is what it looks now. And hopefully I will give you guys an update once I move to Florida and have everything back set up neat, clean, and beautiful. So I'm going to end this vlog here um, and then I will keep recording my process of moving in the new studio setup soon. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram for any updates. Um, once we reach the 1500 subscribers, there will be a giveaway. So make sure you follow me or subscribe in order to participate. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.